the Speaker of Parliament, the Chairman of our beloved party, and Nananum too, and go on to recognize our lady, the sign language interpreter, and all of us who are here. And I want to acknowledge especially those who are outside. If they can hear me, I want them to know how much we appreciate them. They don't have the comfort of a seat, but they have kept faith, and that is NDC. We keep faith with the party. So I greet all of us who are here and those who are not able to as living documents. And manifestos serve as blueprints for progressive policies and democratic development. While dynamic audiences such as these remind us all about the importance of people-centered projects. It is no coincidence, therefore, that we have met in Winneba, and this city has long been recognized as a center for development in education, culture, and vision. In Tebusia Fumumo, in Akwaba, Madawana say, the Wadawa Wadom NDC, I'm a party in my Dawa Mobia Poor Bakam. Yes, Obi Ambra, eh, ye Jobia, ye yim. So we have heard the manifesto, and many of our speakers have come before me, and I want to recognize each of them. And the manifesto is the culmination of many town hall meetings, community engagements held across the country and led by His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. And therefore, when we call it, the People's Manifesto, or that we are resetting Ghana, this is not a decision a few of us have made indoors. This is our collective responsibility and our collective strategy, having come to the collective realization that we need to move in another direction. So, I also want to recognize Professor Dansobuafo, the chair of all the efforts, I've never seen anyone so patient, so focused, so determined. Prof, thank you so much. We really, really appreciate all the work, all the sacrifices, all the tolerance that you have put in in order to bring us here today. And of course, all the members too. And again, to all those who made Association Loop and Abidjan close, their second and third homes, I want to say are you cool to all of you. It has been a huge, a long walk, but we have arrived at the right destination. So we are not complaining. Actually, we are just happy. So, this launch today is the result of a visionary initiative commissioned by His Excellency Mahama some four years ago, and it has sustained us in the policy direction through its incubation right to its evolution and the launch today. With foresight, His Excellency asked for the beginning of crafting of what might someday become a manifesto. And even if it didn't, it would have been the collection of thoughts, the collection of strategies that we might hand over to another group. And since it's all within the party, it, there was no problem. So, over the past four years, we have engaged in countless discussions, debates, we have come to agreements and compromises, and refined many drafts and revisions to bring this document to life. We came from the party, but also from stakeholder organizations civil society, many other concerned groups, anyone who wished to be part of the drive to change things for the better. Therefore, we have included input from private citizens because that is also very important. As a party, we have a proud tradition 
of listening to diverse perspectives. As is often said here in the central region, those standing behind us have the clearest view of whether the path we are laying is straight or not. This philosophy has resulted in what is being launched today, which is truly a collective document shaped by contributions from Ghanaians from all walks of life, regardless. So what we are proposing in collaboration with Ghanaians at home and across the globe is what it is that has been elaborately conveyed by His Excellency and a couple of persons. I wish to begin with education. The NDC remains unwavering in its commitment to quality and accessible education for all Ghanaian children, from kindergarten through senior high school to the university and beyond. Education is the bedrock of national development, and we are determined to ensure that every child, no matter their background, has access to a conducive learning environment. To achieve this, we will prioritize personnel quality, provision of infrastructure and learning material, and especially the relevance of what the learners are acquiring towards our future development and we will pay particular attention to our schools in the rural areas and in deprived areas having said that what i'm trying to say is that the education goes beyond the infrastructure although that is basic it is fundamental it ought to have been there but it has not been and that is why we pay attention to it and we also pay attention to the quality of the facilitators of the whole learning process. And that explains why we keep raising the quality of teacher preparation and teacher training. Vocational and technical education is a very important area of focus. With approximately 70% of our population under the age of 30, and 50% under the age of 18, it is imperative that we prepare our youth for the job market. And I would like to plead here that we look at our semantics again. If somebody went to the vocational school, it is because he is so endowed to go there. It is not so much because he couldn't. We need to tone that language so that the students will feel appreciated and we feel encouraged and we'll know that we appreciate them also for the talent that God has given them. We know without them, all the value addition and so on may elude us. The, our manifesto also emphasizes digital literacy. And I think my boss has spoken um, at length on that. But our vision is very clear. We want and, and will support an education system that prepares every Ghanaian child for a bright future. And a child who is rooted in their global knowledge through our rich cultural legacy. We consider this to be very, very important. And therefore, all the things that have been spoken about in education support this philosophical underpinning. Now, let me highlight our women. We recognize the role of women, and Shamima, thanks for emphasizing all of it. It's very, very important, and we agree with you. But distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you also know in this country where we stand as women. In fact, before I go on, um, where are the women here? If you don't mind, I would like all the women to stand, just for a moment. Actually, you've been sitting for too long, so it's okay. And I want all of you to clap in appreciation. I want you all to clap in appreciation 
for what the NDC and for His Excellency John Dramani Mahama has done for us. By bringing one of and you know, as women, we have all kinds of peculiar problems that only we know, that only we experience. He already talked about how our bodies naturally function and how that can even stop us from moving forward. It is not by accident that when you look at enrollment from P1 to P3, it's, it's almost stable. But you look at P3 to P6, the drop comes after P6, and you ask yourself, why is this happening? And now we know why. And so we, we made a bold step to ensure that girls can also go to school, stay in school, move up as high as they can, and realize the potential in them. And of course, our bodies didn't just start functioning that way. It's just been who we are. We also know our economic challenges more than others. And what are some of them? For all kinds of reasons, we are not able to stay in school, and that is something we are going to work on aggressively, to remove all the bottlenecks, to remove all the obstacles that prevent girls from moving up. But meanwhile, a lot of us are up there already, and we may have missed a few things. So what happens? It is not by accident again that in this country, many, many women are in the small-scale businesses. So what's the solution to all of this? Or we'll go and borrow. Which bank? The bank will say, bring a collateral. What is it? The papers to your car. Na car na ye wobia. Trout run the fumpo wire some. And then stood up for what done the papers, bra. What am I take busia fee? I done a one could take a fa a busia na crat, eh? Na as a quarter as a kaja busia. In such a bank na ye entire ye uko. Unsu ye hiambua. So then what do we do? We go to somebody who will lend us money. Yes, he will, lend us, he will lend us the money, but the interest on that money is not even what we are seeing as 40% from the banks. Sometimes 100 or more. Say who the mamans in. In say fee, you buy a dun. Any yako bank on ye, any yako bobosia or so. In see, you buy a dun. In see, here a banner optimist, you are in here, political party are obu mesiafo. Na party ronye mo ohi. Onye National Democratic Congress. Na nya president to so obu mesiafo. Oti mesiafo wonsu. Ibi kwa onye wana. Onye His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. Na wake ye nina ye nsirabo mu. Na wake de nti ye be ye dan. Inti ye ye pedi ye tao kwa ye mpapa ho. E tao kwa hopu a wongu a ye bufu. Anamo bwa. Wabaka wongu za achiro. Na de bebi ya araba zi oto na azana wabaka ho. Ne <laughs> It is what can they hear a women's development banker? Oh, say a summer And yeah, some don't could say any day. Yen yes, the canton as oh. Or yen send you to me, see, why hand down bra boom. If you are hope, and yaw pier, and so baby, I'll quake it in more day. Yen, a bush of fast man break what I say. Ah, and I want to call it's a women's development banker. No, or the second one that was here is a or the phone book, or on your way, and she said, Papa, or by more advisory services, or by guide, or by mental, no, Dan Dano, 
O bodu baby no na mfaso e benya na ehwa. O sanda mfaso no so chen. Isi huna erokotu ya no. E botu mdisika ni bi eza she. Wazu to nim. O bodu baby na wo capital no retro ana. Ine business in orinyin. Na wo faso no na so margin. Na ndo odi eke da wo fani ya papa no wo na so kwa ama wo hair cut. Into onya ze e botu mi ya koko hopi. Into women's development bank in Oruba. It is here to empower female entrepreneurs and small business owners by providing low interest loans, financial education, and sustainable support. These initiatives will create job opportunities and break down the financial barriers that many women face when starting and sustaining business. business Say, <laughs> So this initiative comes as no surprise to some of us because we have been long aware of NDC's long-standing commitment to gender equality and women's empowerment as essential pillars of national progress. And we know what the, our predecessors in the PNDC to the December Women's Movement and all did. It is also not, by, it's also not surprising that it is NDC that pays attention to markets. We have heard of KJT, even if you haven't gone there. We have heard of Kotokraba and so many other markets. And sometimes you are driving or walking by and the women who are converting our raw material and you know, adding value are the ones sitting under some shared the floor not even cemented, no washroom, nothing for their children. And in the end, you ask, so who buys the material and at what cost? So they need help in this area too. And you know, my American today, say, yeah, but where are you? Once again, what happens when you're dead? Mankesim. I'm my turn as well, Mankesim. What's the come on? And I was in come on. Makola, oh no, Yemi. Hello, no, Bemi. What's all the come home? Now, maybe we see a maybe I want some now. Oh, wow, you go, man. Wow, market. Man, can you have one fine chem? The bank is a nya. What's all bank come home? I don't want to them. Aha. Into Obia come home. Obia rabbe yebi. Asa ma yer kanye. Ye we are senior by employment. I am by your one year to me. On a subos, I can if you twenty four hour economy is it. Obia Jatu. No one may embolse some of my youth. One may embolse some of my young, but the power also one three three. As I don't have to phone book or share a pedal quicker and you use in your jumata. I will from one. The one who tum or more say, What shall I be da? Fenny in our twinchen. The one who tum as I summon no you. Ebusiafuya Dama wabo heno, aya heno suye wo, ya enzi mwote. Insi se bibi damna eze, chips compound na abyan heno. Aya ni eze mwa from out to heno na kuku. Anofa kesa huma cheni eze wana kwa hospital. Sister se mwabwa. Ehe, insi demina bibi biyano wa. Insi wanze me piwa wa warie. Nese wa friend heno sa. Aya heno suye zi anjo ni kakra baka wa. Na zidu wezi mu. Ana on se dam. Eh, into maybe a woman could do her messy a phone call, and away, and you maybe was a chuchuma bechi, sister. What say, cook or win him? Cook or win him? 
Nefes when you are the Mary and no, or do or be so or tene ye in ye mohun, er ye mobi, no one is rado or wo. In se busu and funda ya tini pi ya bedo obia waba kasa waha obia waba chira najin o hona waba hona waba no hona watine dem yes ya da hona se so this manifesto is not a set of attractive or empty promises. It is a roadmap to a better future for every Ghanaian. It is also our social democratic blueprint for building the Ghana we all want together. Together, say at so now so nya do president na ko no ene problem o nya ne problem o ye he nyina ye problem na mo wenyi dado do bi aso baba wa ba ye mo botu na ya sesa bebe aye te ya sesa he ne busua ya sesa nzeme pi na o ma no afa ne ntempa we fra into the man na o cha da party ne to man every party no te he na se every party no ba o ye mpuntu juma ya nto aba nje hwe ya to aba de impuntu juma embra ya nyuma ya to yes development is our goal ana eh eh nti de minti ne aba nya nda da na akohwi na slang sibina and the ndc has a good track record as well as a renewed vision we are motivated by confidence in our skills and the good will of our fellow citizens Progress is within our reach and the reach of every Ghanaian, regardless your age, religion, whatever that differentiates you. And we are here to present something very, very meaningful to reset Ghana. It's going to be hard work, but you and I know that by the grace of God, we will get there. So to vote for the NDC is to put your trust in the statement that Ghana can get better. Thank you very much.